Good morning, preppers. Victorian Prepper here. Uh, today, I'd like to talk to you about some Dollar Tree finds that you probably didn't even know existed. And benefits are huge. So let's get right into it, and I'll show you things that I found and stocked up on some of these things. So first up, we have Calamine Lotion. That's for the itchies. And um, you never know when those are going to come around. Great for it. Cough syrup. Yeah, I know it's a small bottle, but in a pinch, you're going to be glad you got it. I usually get like four or five of these for the winter. And uh, that's usually pretty good for me. Now, this was a kind of a nifty little find I found, was hydrogen peroxide spray. Cool, huh? And I just happened to go to Walmart the same day and had gotten uh, big bottles of peroxide for 98 cents. So I said, geez, I can just refill these and wouldn't that go longer? Now we know once you open it, it only lasts about a year. But, um, Lots of uses for hydrogen peroxide, not to mention cleansing your cuts. And it doesn't burn. Now, we don't want to talk about this, but it can happen. anti -di 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 So, good to have. You take one, maybe you feel better. Allergy relief. You know, not many of us get allergies in the winter. But, I mean, there's a lot of us allergic to dust. And that's that's in the winter. So maybe smoke from the wood-burning stove. Good thing to have on hand. And I wonder how there's 12. 12 in here. Oh, that's well, fine. Yeah, you know, they've got stay awake pills. Why would you want to stay awake? Well, I could think of reasons why you'd want to. But good to have in case. Some coffee and stay awake pills. <laughs> Next find I have is nasal relief. Goes along with your allergy meds. But a lot of people get sinus infections in the winter. So here you go. This is going to help you. And what else do we have? Oh, saline solution for your nose. Because we know in the winter it gets dry. This will be a bonus. Okay, let's get into the creams. Hydrocortisone. Great thing to have on hand. Pick up a couple. Because we know it's a dollar. Hmm. Anti-itch cream. Eh, probably the same as the hydrocortisone kind of thing, but why not? Now this is the elephant in the room. Sometimes we need this. You should have it. Why should you? Next, we have another itching solution. Poison ivy, whatever. You never know which one's gonna work. Get them all. It's a dollar. And here we go. Arthritis and muscle, muscle cream. You know, we all have sore muscles on occasion. And a lot of us have arthritis. Why not? This is a huge tube. Good to have. Maybe your neighbors need it if you don't. This, I was surprised. I didn't even know they had this. Gauze. Now, I don't know about you, but I never have it when I want it. <laughs> so I picked up some. But they also had mold gauze. Who knew? I didn't know they had this. And I'll tell you the secret in a minute. The other thing I found, which I didn't know they had either, was elastic support bandages. It's five yards. 
they also had that that tape, that sticky tape stuff. What's it called? A self-adherent wrap. I didn't know they had this. This is also five yards. Hmm, that'll last a while. But the one thing I bet you don't know is that these can substitute for gauze. These little makeup rounds, which I never even thought of that until I saw a video and I'm like, that's a good idea. Cause there's 80 in here and it's a dollar. Other things that might come in handy is a knee sport and an ankle support. Friends, all of that was a dollar. We're all in a rough situation and we need to stock up on things. So why wouldn't we go to the dollar store and get some of this stuff? So now I'm gonna tell you how to find this stuff because I didn't know this until I, a lady was talking about it on YouTube and she had dollar funds and I'm like, oh, I never see that stuff at my dollar store. This was a nurse and she goes, you gotta squat down and look at the bottom shelves because this is where all this stuff is. Sure as shit, that's where it was. And I'm like, no kidding, I didn't even think of that. So then you know I'm, I'm going around squatting all over the goddamn dollar store, just looking. <laughs> but I found so many finds that if the shit did hit the fan, I'd have some of this stuff. Now we know that we'll never think of any, everything that you need, but to have some of this stuff, would be good, even if you gave it to your neighbor. You did it. You thought of it, you bought it. Yay, good for you. So the other thing I wanna talk about is um, fish biotics. Uh, there is a medical book online. Um, I don't know if you guys have all heard of Canadian Prepper, but he did a video with this doctor that um, said that he did a study on uh, fish biotics, bird biotics, and came to the conclusion after conversing with the people that make it, that it's the same exact stuff that we take as humans. I was like, really? That's good because as you all know, I don't have insurance. <laughs> so I was like, and I just kind of happened to get on this bandwagon quickly. So I didn't think about it. I went and got myself some 500 milligrams and some 250 milligrams of fish biotics. And lo and behold, I didn't jump on it quick enough because I couldn't get the sulfa drug, which we all know is for urinary tracts. So they say that some of the antibiotics will help, but I worry nobody gets one because that's, that hurts. It sure does. Um, so, and the, like, you cannot get them on Chewy.com and that you need a prescription. So you got to do your research and dig. And I found some ones that I can't even tell you because I dug so long. I don't even remember where I'd been. So you just got to dig, but you go all the way to the end and if it doesn't say you need a prescription, get it right away. Because we don't know what's gonna happen with um, stuff, you know, and, and some of us are gonna take the shot and some of us aren't gonna, and we're not gonna be allowed to go places. They're trying to make that mandatory that you have to have a card to get into places. So if that's true, a lot of us are not gonna be okay unless we have a lot of family members that could shop for us, or if they're gonna let us get Peapod or sh them shop for us. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm trying to stock up because I don't know if they're gonna, they're doing this in Australia and, and I don't think it's hit all parts um, because my cousin seems to say that she's fine. Um, 
but they're they're making people um, take account for where they are and they wanted people to stay in their houses and uh, if they called you and you had to prove that you were in your house uh, who knows how they're doing that but uh, it's scary so and I don't know I don't think we're immune to that so I want you guys to think about stocking up and like we've talked about before stock up for winter and go around and get the sales uh, great veggie sale going on right now uh, they think they call it a can can sale but yeah get some um meat is just crazy 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 craziness learn how to can you know then you'll have meat for later um, I, I will be putting videos up of different things. I have put up meat can, meat canning videos. Um, and it's trial and error for some of it, but, um, do it. Definitely do it. And you know, the thing I didn't talk about in my, uh, prepping for winter video is, Lord, why didn't I? Water. Y'all need water. Are you stocking up? Now, water only lasts in the plastic bottles about a year. Um, and that's, I think, the life of them because they don't have the, 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 the plastic breaks down or something. <clears throat> so cycle through your water and put your new stuff in the back. And I know it's a pain in the ass, but I think you should do it so you know that you have the freshest possible water in the back. And... Uh, and I'm not talking about one case of water, guys. I'm talking about 12. I mean, me and Steve stocked up last year. We actually got like a little over 20 cases of flavored waters, regular waters. And it actually lasted us through the winter. So my guess is figure out how many is in your family and how much water you guys drink and then go from there. Now they have this uh, program called Circle and it's, look it up, C-I-R-K-E-L, I believe. Um, it's, they sell you these bottles, these big bottles or these little short bottles, but they have this insert that goes in the top of them and um, there's different flavors. So you can, change your flavors out. So if you're sick of water, get one of these little circle things, circle things, and they they last like a, one, last like a week, depending on how much water you drink. But it lasts a long time. And you can just throw it in the fridge when you're not drinking it, pull it back out, refill it. But um, anybody that lives in my area knows that our water is tainted sometimes. So we want to always have bottled water and not rely on the public system because the last time we had tainted water, they didn't tell us for two weeks. So that wasn't cool, uncool. So it would be very good if you guys have your stash of water. Oil prices are going up. Last year to fill my tank, it cost me like 260. This year it was over $400. So I'm gonna tell you guys it's gonna keep going up. So if you haven't topped off your oil tanks, do it. Um, what else could we talk about? Definitely that. If you uh, have a wood stove, get wood. Have multiple heating s systems. If you don't have a generator, think about it. Um, I actually have a little heater in my living room and I have a Blue Eddy, which is a solar generator. So I technically could take that generator at night and put it in my living room to keep us warm. And it could run my little heater in my TV. So I could be nice and cozy in one room. And then I have the wood stove downstairs, which I can cook on and cook on my gas grill. I've gotten extra propane just to be safe. So in case I run out and who the hell wants to go out in a blizzard? Except for like maybe a walk. That would be kind of fun, but no, 
No, I'm not going out in a blizzard to go shopping. <clears throat> I want to be all stocked up. So I hope you guys are prepping for winter. Go to your local dollar store and find these treasures that are hidden in there. I didn't even know. But I was like, oh, I'm going to be okay for that now. I'm going to be okay for that now. You're going to say the same thing. You're going to be like, oh, wow, I'm glad I went. Because there's so many things. And you know what's really funny? As I was looking through the food aisle, and I found these little cans of sausage gravy. And I'm like, ugh, canned sausage gravy, I don't know. But I said, you know what? Maybe I'll get a couple. I'll try it. So I got a couple. And they have these garlic breads that were also a dollar. So I got one of those. So a can of this gravy didn't add anything to it and cooked up the biscuits and dumped it on. It was good. I was like, no, this is mind boggling. Dollar store sausage gravy. But it was good. And I was like, I'd be happy to have that in the winter time. You know, it's cold. <clears throat> I was kind of excited about that. So I'm actually going to go back and get some more. I was uh, pleasantly pleasing. And there's other pleasantly pleasing things in there that you just don't even know. Himalayan salt. It's the same exact one Walmart has. Walmart charges $3. Why wouldn't you get it at the dollar store? And that lasts longer than other salts. So why not get it? Keep it. So every time I go there, I get one. Just one. There's certain things that I'll just get one of. Um, glasses. Do you get enough of those? Uh, most of us use cheaters. Um, do you have stocks of them? I uh, I buy a couple every time I go because you you don't know. You gotta lose them, sit on them, whatever. Dog eats them. <sighs> Horror story. My dog has been eating my lids for my canning. He just goes and plucks. I have like stacks of them on the bottom shelf and they just take one, run downstairs with it and chew up the box. And while they're at it, they're chewing the lids. This is a horror story. So now I've got to move them. Um, I thought they would just give up. I put things in front of it to deteriorate them because that is really a good place for me to keep them. Nope, they go shopping on the freaking shelves. Little shits. They just, I don't know why they do what they do. Just don't know. So that is two things for you to work on. Get your fuel fill filled because the prices are skyrocketing. Electric too. So you're going to want to put some money away for winter in the bank so you can pay your electric bill because they're not going to care. If you don't have the money, they're going to shut you off. You don't want that. You got to make it through winter. And like I said, it's going to be a hard winter. There's four blizzards predicted. You just don't want to live through that. Nope. I mean, you could. Our forefathers did, right? But it's going to get awful cold if you rely on that for your heat. So if you don't have another source, I'd worry about it. But now you can go get some medical supplies. And... Do yourself a favor and just look. Just stand in the aisle. Go like this. And look. Because you're not going to believe what's hidden in there. I'm like shocked. I mean, now that I've been looking for things to make sure I'm okay. <clears throat> I'm amazed at what they got. Um, not to mention that I've watched a couple of videos that they, they have like a whole meal in a pack like rice meals, and all you gotta do is heat them up. I'm like, really? I haven't seen that in ours. So, but um, if y'all find them in our local dollar stores, let me know. But there's all kinds of little meat cans and soups. And uh, tell us what you found in your local dollar store, because I'm just amazed, because I'm not a huge dollar store girl, but... Um, when you need to get shit, they have it. Why not go there? Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Well, 
I've blabbed your ear off enough for today. Um, I don't think I'll think of anything else. You never know, my brain's always going. But definitely, go get yourself a couple things. What is it gonna cost you, 20 bucks? And then if you need it, you got it, yay. All right, talk to you later, have a great day. Victorian Prepper, boop, going.